All right guys, so this is the second level 10 puzzle that I'll ever try and attempt. This is known as the Washington Monument Puzzle. It is a wooden puzzle. The object of this puzzle is to remove the obelisk from the base and then replace it. Um, that's all I know. I don't know if any of the parts have anything to do with anything and it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. So I've literally taken the day to uh, to shoot this. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because I want this to be up uh, today, which is Saturday. It's not gonna be an easy task. Also guys, if you haven't checked out my last video, I performed some magic in the Bahamas last week, which is which explains the, the tan, the fair skin. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll leave the link below where you guys can go ahead and watch that. Before we get into this, go ahead and like this video. If you enjoy this content, it always helps. Subscribe if you're new here. Now without further ado, let's try to solve this Washington Monument puzzle. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, take this apart. This is how I've received this puzzle. Okay. The Washington Monument. There's a red, white, and blue on the flags. There's the number white monument on a red base. Can you find the other blue? I have no idea what that means. The object of the puzzle is to unlock and open to find the blue and relock it. You'll have, you'll have solved the puzzle when you can complete these two stages. First stage, lock all the gravity pins inside the round base of the obelisk so they do not move. <clears throat> this will allow you to remove the obelisk from the base. If you open the puzzle by chance, gravity pins will still move freely. This is not the intended solution. The first stage is not completed until the gravity pins are locked inside the round base. All tools are given with the puzzle. All right, let's try it out. So these things. Oh, okay, so there's something in here. So these, these pins have to lock in here without moving. Gravity pins, why would they be called gravity pins? As you can hear, there's some type of mechanism on the inside of this. And I guess these things have to lock using that mechanism. Let's try one at a time. Just slowly rotating the base to see where that locking mechanism comes in handy. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put all the flags in and then try and lock it or do one at a time. Um, and if it's one at a time, I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to lock first. So the first part is just trying to figure out now. I'm trying to see if the height of all these individual flags are the same or if there's one that drops down a little bit lower. Uh, so for now, it kind of looks like they're all the same height. So this one seems to be locked. Give it the old spinneroo. Hmm. Again, this one seems to be, it moves, but it's super tight there. And this one, a little bit tighter. Okay. For some reason, this just turned. Maybe because I've locked one of them. So I'm moving that inner mechanism and it seems like it's allowing me to move the obelisk. It's coming out a bit. So it's coming out just a little bit. I feel like I've unlocked like one part. Oh God. Ugh. Maybe this pin or something. Oh, okay. So as you can see, we've discovered that the pin here can be removed. Now what does that do? I have no idea. It doesn't seem to do anything, but I do believe that it's supposed to come out. Hmm. Okay, so we got an extra piece here to play with. 
Interesting. I'm feeling this whole thing relies on gravity somehow. So there's a there's a pin, there's a, a ball in here. And it feels like it's at the top. Maybe we gotta make it travel to the bottom somehow. Oh, I think I found something here. Listen to this. I think the pin here is actually a magnetic pin because when I tilted it and put the pin in, there was a ball and it stopped moving, so listen. You hear that? Watch, listen. So you hear the ball drop. There's a ball here. My guess, this is just a guess, but the ball has to travel all the way down into the base. Now, I don't know what the inner mechanics of this obelisk look like, but I think, I think it has to travel down there somehow. So maybe let's swirl it. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. There seem to be gravity pins on the inside of this, uh, much like the puzzle where you had to rotate. So yeah, I know there's gravity pins down here and there seems to be a ball bearing in here and that so far we've established. Let's see if that ball has moved at all. Ooh, I think I'm close. I think I'm close. Ooh. Look at that. That is interesting. Wow. Why are they sticking? What is that? Oh, wow. All right. This is probably one of the most interesting mechanisms I've ever seen. If I'm right, this is how this works. There's a tube here, like a glass or plastic tube, and the tube runs all the way down this obelisk. These pins are attracted to magnets, as I see, and if I go like this, watch this, watch. Boom. So there is a magnet in here. My guess is that magnet is in the shape of a ball bearing, and in this tube, you see what that is? That's like sand or, or some type of like sandy, yeah, it's sand. And there's a ball bearing and the ball bearing happened to be at the top of this tube attached to this magnetic pin. And so this magnetic pin would hold that ball bearing up here and the sand prevented the ball bearing from reaching the base of this here. So by shaking it, it, it slowly by taking 20 minutes to shake this thing it slowly moved its way down to here and then as i was i noticed as i was shaking this thing here uh all of a sudden there was less and less clicks and so i started figuring out that yeah okay these pins somehow are getting caught um by the magnet and there it is this puzzle it says here has uh, a second stage is unlock the gravity pin so they uh, flow freely once again. This allows you to lock the obelisk back in the square. So the first stage is done now that the gravity pins are all locked. I'm not sure what this is here. Seems to be something in the base of this. I don't understand why there is, uh, there's like a little rubber seal in the base of here. There's red, white, and blue on the flags. There's a white monument on a red base, can you find the other blue? Okay, so there's gotta be something blue in here. So the object is to unlock, open, and find the blue, close, and relock it. You'll have solved the puzzle when you can complete these two stages. So what I mistook, I mistook these for the gravity pins. These were clearly just a decoy, just a diversion. But it says find the blue, and I'm not gonna close it all up right now because there seems to be something missing in here. 
Okay, that's just the space for the gravity pins to flow around in. Uh, in here, however, does this thing move? Hmm. Oh, so this little plastic seal seems to be coming out. There it goes. Okay, it just seems to be a piece of a pipe. I have no idea what this is for. Does this, does this piece come out? Why is that in there? Is that, is that the blue they're referring to? Because it's black. Oh, that's it. I think that's the blue they were referring to is the blue stripes on this. So you got the red, which is the base, the white, which is the obelisk, and the blue, which is uh, these little blue stripes. I find this part to be a little bit nonsensical, to be honest, because this clearly is just a piece of PVC piping. It even has like a little code on it, which makes it really cheap looking. I think they could have added something more for that blue, maybe, you know, paint this whole entire thing blue. That would have been a lot clearer. Uh, but there you have it. And that goes back in there. Because this is unlocked, we gotta lock it again. That's the final part of this puzzle. So, once again, trust the sand. I would say, because I started that way. <laughs> so the pins still seem to be magnetized. Like if I shake them real hard, they'll come apart. But if I let them go, they'll stick right back to that bearing, letting me know that the bearing is still the base. I've got to have it uh, travel to the top somehow. By the way, this is not the solution. This is just telling me what I'm supposed to do. Uh, so basically it tells me you have to find the blue, blah, blah, blah. This is not a solution. Okay, so the ball bearing's here. That's how I know the ball bearing's not on top is that this pin isn't staying there. It's clearly not working. Okay. See, the problem here is that that ball bearing is attracted to these pins and I can't have the ball bearing travel to the top because all the pins are holding it there. And if I shake it, the pins go back to attracting the ball bearing. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm supposed to get the, uh, the ball bearing travel back up. <gasps> okay, this might be a crazy idea, but you see this ring here? Check this out. <laughs> there was a reason this ring was in here and I just, you know that you get that moment, that eureka moment. This is why this ring was here. Bam, bam. Now to test. Still no. It's interesting because I feel like if I shake it downwards, the ball bearing is gonna move up. So I feel like I have to shake it upwards for the ball bearing to move down. So I gotta start here. You know what I mean? Let's see if that worked. Nope. Ah! Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Listen to this. This, my friends, is the sound of success. The ball is now attracted to the metal rod, so if I lift the metal rod, you will hear the sound of the ball dropping down. Listen. There it is. This is interesting too, because like those twisty puzzles, like the ones that rely on gravity pins, normally uh, we're, you know, solving puzzles where you the centrifugal force, where if you spin it, it'll unlock it. In this case, if you spin it, it locks it from, from being able to get out. So that's really interesting. Put that back, and again, we can set up the little American flags. Da, 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 and that is the Washington Monument level 10 puzzle solved. Very challenging as well. Um, took me up in about one and a half hours to solve this little bad boy. All right guys, so that was it. Uh, we did it, we solved this puzzle, which is super cool. Uh, really, really impressed with this. I'm more impressed than with the lock puzzle. The lock puzzle uh, seemed to be random bits and parts that you had to shove around and sort of shim around to end up opening the lock. This, however, did require some logic. I had to really use my ear. It uh, wasn't so much tactile as it was just sensing, you know, what the mechanics were on the inside and, and having a base knowledge of puzzle solving, um, including the magnetic pins, including the ball bearing. Uh, the sand was something new that I've never, uh, that I've never thought of before. 
And it was really cool to be able to use that plastic PVC ring to stop those pins. I thought that was a really genius way of putting that together. So all in all, a really difficult puzzle. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, again, like this video, subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.